purpose of CSP Safety Plus hardware provides face mask detection, a temperature scanner, and full body sanitation. The mobile application is a means to observe the user's status and condition and to help provide a list for contact trace in purposes. Website provides an overview, statistics, and management of mobile app users along with their information, contact COVID cases on the campus, close contacts, and rooms departments in UCC South Campus that only administrators can access. How does it works? The CSP Safety Plus comprises three different functionalities. The first functionality is the face mask detection, which will be shown in this part. Face the camera to let the scanner detect whether you are wearing a face mask or not. After identifying that you are wearing a face mask, you will proceed to the next step. Before proceeding to the second functionality, you need to scan the QR code for contact tracing purposes as shown here. The second functionality is the temperature scanner that will be demonstrated in this part. Point your wrist in front of the sensor. The reading will display on the LCD placed below the sensor. The third functionality is contactless full body sanitation. After completing the first and second steps, you will be guided to the sanitation booth. Enter the sanitation booth. The solution will flow out of the mist nozzles placed inside the booth after you enter. The sanitation will last for 5 to 10 seconds at most. Once entering the room. First, you need to gone through the sanitation booth for safety purposes. Second, you need to scan your QR code to easily trace a close contact within the day. Last, keep one meter distant from the others to ensure safety of one another. Once, done of stay. Before leaving the space, each individual needs to scan their QR code onto the scanner again. For monitoring and for close contact trace purposes. For CSB mobile app home dashboard, you will see at the upper corner. It has two different account. Green for COVID negative user. It depicts the summary info about the number of COVID positive user and the possible close contact among them. Red for COVID positive user. A dialog box will appear to fill out the information needed if you are a confirmed COVID positive user. For updates. It contains the summary info for app users who has symptoms only and COVID positive users as its main purpose is to give awareness and directly notify each user if ever there is a confirmed COVID positive nearby. QR code scanner. For contact trace in purposes. Info. It contains info about symptoms and how to prevent COVID disease. Settings. It contains the overall info of the user as it includes the following. First, the account. In this page, it contains a dialog box to fill out the needed personal information for registry purposes. Second, the contact tracing list. It entails the summary of users' close contact individuals as it also includes the time and date. Third, the terms and use. Contains the instruction and regulation for application's usage. Fourth, the about us. For KYC purposes. Fifth, the privacy policy includes disclose statement and legal terms about the application. Last, log out. For another, registry purposes for accessing the CBS Safety website. First, you need to sign in. Fill out the needed information. It is also need for account security measures. Then, click log in. After, signing into the website, IT will lead you to your dashboard directly. IT entails the A graph for sanitation booth, solution usage. For better visualization, just click and hold a certain space within the graph to zoom in. Then, click the reset zoom button for default visualization. Within the dashboard IT also displays the summary of users info and an overall view of entries. Next, tab for accounts. It includes the admins which entails the list of registered admins profile. Then, look for Admin Staff Add button for additional admin registrant. Enter your name, email, phone number and your chosen password, respectively. Then click, Create. And make sure to check your registered name among the entries.
Next, tab is the user app. In this part, it depicts the list of profile info. Also, you will see a search bar at the rigged corner of the page where you can choose the number of entries to be shown in the column. And at the left corner of the page, there is a search bar wherein you can quick and easily search for names of entries among the list as well. Next tab is for the department info. It depicts the summary of department info. It includes the department name, room number, and QR codes. And, in order to register a department, just look for the Add Room button, enter the designated name of the department and the designated room number to easily track the place of a certain department, then click Add, and check if it is successfully enlisted to the entries. While, for the QR codes, it is designated for safety measures of each individual within the campus, and it is pretty useful, to lessen the hassle to write a contact trace in manually, wherein each individual can be easily monitored like, it will serve as their daily time record. Hence, it can be referred as a time log QR codes, nowadays. For each button, as you can see, each department has their own designated QR codes to easily distinguish which department they do belong. Beside the title, you will notice a tab, named the Table Hierarchy tab. It will lead you to a page where it depicts the hierarchy chart. Then, just click for the word you may see and it will automatically show the hierarchy chart of the department. Then next, tab for the COVID cases. It comprises of number of entries with their respective infos, COVID status, case number, ID number, proof of certification update status and the info for the individuals they got a close contact into. You can use the search bar to easily look for the info of a certain individual. Then, click the update button if there are things you would like to update. And it will lead you to a page. It entails two questions regarding with the COVID status and kindly fill out the information needed. And, click submit. For the close contact list. Just click the view button to look for a reference regarding with the individuals you made a close contact with. As you can see, it is quite helpful and easy to determine the close contact individuals. For the quarantine tab, it entails the list of names of each individuals who have been positive from COVID disease and the individuals who are currently under quarantine or isolate care, along with their infos, respectively. Such as the email, where they could contact them. The COVID status. ID number, case number, the time and start date of their quarantine, the end date of their quarantine, close contacts as well as the update status of their being.